boys, you ever gambled? Doesn't have to be in Las Vegas, could just be with a friend over some petty beef, maybe a fantasy football league. I know I have, and the thing about gambling is oftentimes, it's dumb. The odds are stacked against you. You know if you put $100 into a blackjack table, if you're playing the best you possibly can, you'll walk away with 98 bucks. That's just how the percentages work out. It's always a little bit rigged in the house's favor. And this is no different in the sweet joy of crane games. And you've probably been there. Chuck E. Cheese wasted out of your mind Saturday 7 p.m. Just slosh trying to play a little crane game. I have too. <laughs> and I know, I know it gets you in the ass when you're trying to win your toys. Okay? It seems like the cranes are way too weak. Everything is rubbed down with oil. I don't know, maybe the prizes are glued down. But I wanted to see just how rigged crane games are. So, I went online to a website that lets you play crane games and I put in $1,000. And I wanted to see how many prizes I could get and at the end I'm gonna do some math to figure out how much money I earned from all of those prizes if I were to sell them all. And that's what we're doing today. First item up was a <laughs> kind of a funny one. It was a knockoff Yeezy shoe, the Yeezy Foam Runners. You might have a friend who has way too much money who wears these, even though they look super ugly. <clears throat> XQCL in chat. And so I went to try to get these shoes. And just so you guys know, a little context, I put in 1 million Toriba points. TP is what they call it. And pretty much every dollar is 1,000 TP, right? And, uh, I, and I put in $1,000, a million TP, makes sense. Every time you use the crane, it usually costs two bucks or 2,000 TP. Meaning I would have 5,000 attempts at the crane before I run out of my money. This was the first item. I want you to just sit at home and guess how much this cost. Shake a little gander. 50 bucks, 100 bucks, cost me $243. The real shoes cost about $243. These are knockoffs. Yes! Yes! I told you, man. This game is easy. It's size eight. I'm size 11. Moving on, we went for the giant Kirby plushie because my roommate Slime loves Kirby. I think I like I think I like this one better. Cause this one he's doing like a weird it's like he's sucked in an Ahi Gao figure. Like why is he like it's, he makes weird cummy face? This is the best game, chat. This game, what you have to do is you get a ping pong ball, and then it picks up a ping pong ball like this. And then it brings it over to the thing, and then the ping pong ball has to land in the hoop with pink. Or you win if you fill up every hole. It's like a guaranteed W. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Alright, let's go for a new item. Handy alcohol checker. Wait, like a breathalyzer? Okay. Do I have to get the plastic to fall? That seems so easy. Too easy. Wait, it's already almost falling. Dude, we're almost done. This could be a good stab. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Alright, chat, what do we get? You guys get to pick. Oh, everybody, okay, plushy wins. Almost first try. Yes! Oh, we're four dollars away. Cause now all I do is lift up the back and I win. You do not stab. Look, 
Look. I'm going to give it one more try. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. I'm going to go to the far back end to give it the most torque possible. Dude, it's super glue. Oh, okay. I can get it now. I can get it now. We're $4 away. If I lift it now, it'll work. It'll, it'll work now. Look, 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 look. Told you! I told you! I told you! That's it, baby! Number one Toriba player in the world! Alright, we're at five. I want to get something big now. It's so cute. Look how cute it is. I think it's time for a Pokemon. Wait, I, I nailed it. Uh oh. Whoa, I have to get it up and over. Wait, let's try to just loop our crane through the handle. Okay, let, let me try one more time here. Look. Okay, we can win this one easy. Let's do it, let's do it. The grade out, 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 oh! You kind of lose touch with almost everybody you went to high school with. And anytime you see them, you have to like update them. It almost like flex what you're up to and like make it sound cooler than it is. I'm good now! Wait, this is gonna be so easy. This is gonna be so easy. I'm gonna one shot this. Okay, we're like four bucks away. It's not a stab, it won't go low enough. I stabbed it right there. You need to lift and turn. And everything that the Italian man was saying. Yes! Bum, 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 bum. I'm trying to find one to go on. Okay, let's get this guy. How does this work? <gasps> oh, we're going to win this one easy, right? It's barely on the table. What? Oh, I didn't see that. There's a lip here. That's where I have to lift it off. I I'm going to get this first try. Watch. Witness me. Bang. GG. What? I want to see that again from this angle. It's hooked on. Yellow equals sticky. I'm going to get it. Ugh, you fucker. I'm going to get it. That's good. Is it moving or am I getting scammed? I think I can win this, man. You guys are being haters. This is not this. I can get this one. You're dumb. I'm fuck yeah. Yes! Yes! I told you! The tape was losing its sticky. And that's when I get icky with it. Baby, let's go. I knew it was coming, man. That, that, that was a cheap... I think I might have gotten that under market price. So after, and I'm not making this up, five hours of playing the crane game. One, I hate crane games. I don't like them anymore. They are super rigged. I can say the only one that I felt somewhat good about playing was the one where you pick up a ping pong ball because at least that one you were guaranteed to win after a little bit of time as opposed to the others where it felt like it felt like the odds were always stacked against you in every single spin my chat was making me feel like an absolute moron for playing. The first item I won was the Yeezy Foam Runners. I spent $243 trying to get that item. The actual value of it, eight bucks. It's eight dollars. It's eight dollars. It's eight dollars. If you go to wish.com, you can get it for eight bucks. It's eight. This is eight dollars. It cost me eight dollars. I, I spent 243, so I lost 235 dollars there. <clears throat> Next up was the Kirby plushie, the giant Kirby plushie, which if you find it on Amazon right now, costs about uh, 25 dollars, which not bad. 
25 bucks, I spent $60 to get it. Okay, not, not terrible, not the worst. Next was the alcohol checker, breathalyzer. This cost $34 to win, which was my least, uh, one of my least expensive items. Uh, and it costs $7 if you buy it yourself. So not, not bad, not bad, still losing money. Next up was the Neko plush toy, it was the cat plush. This is about 20 bucks on Amazon for a, a cat plush like this. You might be able to find it cheaper, more expensive, but about 15, 20 bucks. Uh, and I spent $64.80 trying to get it. Next up is the Pokemon Charmander plush. This one is a godsend. It cost me $24 of spins to get it. The item is worth $30. Uh, next item, the alien bag. This one I only found on Japanese Amazon, and it was worth $10. I spent $44 to get it. Not terrible. Uh, and then the final item I won was the Demon Slayer figurine, which cost me $67 to win, and it is worth $30. Bucks. So, the final tally after $1,000 spent on Crane Games... All the items I bought <laughs> added up. I lost $830. The items I bought were worth about $170 if you were to get them all yourself on Wish.com or Amazon, meaning it's an 83% loss, which is the absolute worst odds of any game ever. I have ever seen literally putting your money into a slot $1,000 into a slot machine might be an equivalent amount of fun and you will make more money and by make more money I mean you will end up with um, a little more money than 170 bucks than if you were to do crane games so you know all in all not the greatest decision but hey I had an amazing idea and it's something my friend Connor dog voice actor man does where he does head-to-head -head crane game challenges, and I figured it might be fun. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a head-to-head -head against Connor Dog VA, and each of us get like $500, and we can see who wins the most items, and then a uh, well, loser gets punished. I don't know. Maybe they have to uh, wear a cat made costume on stream or something kawaii desk. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. L later, guys. <laughs>